My name is Jay Grams. My family has owned the Volo Auto Museum since 1960. We have a few hundred of the most exciting collector cars and they're all for sale in one location. I personally have handpicked them from around the country. Welcome to my sales shop. Come on, let's go for a spin. We got a 32 three window coupe right here. It is a show quality piece top to bottom. And let me tell you what the thing drove phenomenal. I took this thing home. I couldn't believe I was in a little 32 coupe. It just did everything just right. If you visit volocars.com, that's where you can read all the specs, study all the pictures, get the price, not only on this one, but we do have a few hundred collector cars all for sale at volocars.com. If you enjoy watching the videos, subscribe to our YouTube channel. If you click on the bell icon, you will be notified as the new ones are posted. Right now, let's go for a spin in this 32 coupe. Yeah, really, I drove it home after work one day. It was kind of a long day. It's dark right now when we get off work. I didn't know if I felt like taking a 32 coupe home, and I did, and I came back the next day and bragged about it to the, to the boys. Uh, the car just drove great, handled nice, comfortable, heat worked. It did everything just right, so thank you, car. Uh, underneath the car is painted this same copper color. It's beautiful, and it's all chrome suspension. I mean, that front end is chrome. The shocks, the spring. It has a speedway dropped axle with the holes drilled in it, uh, the tubular control arms, the steering bars, all of it's chrome up front. It has chrome uh, control arms in back. It's a four link suspension with adjustable coilover uh, shocks. It's got a Ford nine inch rear end with a 350 posi. It's painted the color of the car. It's a turbo 350 automatic with an aluminum pan. Uh, it has an external uh, oil cooler with electric fans on it. I guess they really wanted to keep that trans cool. You look up at the motor, it looks like brand new still. Uh, so super, super nice under the car. Real nice custom exhaust with an X-Pipe, Magnaflow mufflers. You'll hear that in a little bit. Uh, we got disc brakes up front here with the braided stainless lines, uh, rack and pinion steering. And in back, they're finned uh, drums on the back. Car stopped beautifully. Uh, the car itself, oh, it's all tubular chassis. I don't know who made the chassis. I'll try and look at pictures and compare online, but it's a really nice chassis that's under the car. The paint is gorgeous. The body's beautiful. The grill is real nice. Here's a little nick touched up right here if you're looking for it. It has the turn signals built right into the spreader bar. Got nice headlights with braided uh, wires going up to them. It's got a louvered hood. It's got the polished frame around the windshield. All new glass. It's smoked glass. Uh, remote doors. They do work. Uh, you know, it's the chop top. Got a little water splashed up from pulling it in. I missed that. Uh, obviously, staggered size. Torque thrust wheels, they're very polished. They're in beautiful shape. Tires still look like new. It's got real nice exhaust tips. Uh, nice round tail lights. Uh, all this, just nice. A V8 uh, gas cap there. Here's the antenna. There's a third brake light. Inside the car, super comfortable. It's got power windows. It's a power trunk. Should probably have to have the key on for that. Uh, real nice bucket seats, very cushy, very comfortable. Tilt wheel with a beautiful steering column. The whole inside of the car is upholstered. You see the pattern on the door panel? It's on the seats, it's on the headliner, behind the seats, it's all upholstered. The dash is beautiful, it has some nice backlit vintage gauges or uh, vintage air. Uh, controls, has a nice set of match gauges, polished column. The shifter on the floor is a little piston, and it does have the digital uh, park reverse neutral. It's got seat belts. Let me open the hood for you. It's just a really nice, reliable crate motor. It's a 350, 290 horsepower. It'll just run all day. It's decked out in polished parts, has a polished intake on it with an Edelbrock carb. 
Uh, it has a nice polished alternator, a mini polished AC compressor. It's all March pulleys and brackets, a serpentine belt. It's got an aluminum radiator with a big electric fan. Obviously, you've seen it was a power lift trunk. It has a nice billet uh, hinge here. The battery is right there behind that uh, box. And it's all upholstered, even up under here. It does have a bug guard for the grill. Now, the batteries in there, they do have posts underneath. If you ever needed to jump it or charge it, you can do it from under the car. There's also, I think, a pull cable that pops the trunk. And I also seen a button that probably opens one of the doors. So if you lock your keys in there, you still have a way to get in. Getting back in the engine here, it's got a polished overflow tube for the radiator. It's got polished hoses, uh, chrome valve covers, a nice billet brackets holding the plug wires. Uh, it's an HEI ignition system. It has a set of headers, all painted beautifully. It's really nice in there. Just a well-built car, very well-built car, very classy. Let's fire it up. It's got a retro sound stereo. has an auxiliary plug for this stereo. You can plug your devices in. Oh, I never did open this door. Beautiful copper color. I couldn't read the odometer without my glasses, but it's only got a few thousand miles on it since done. That will be posted on our website. Yeah, this car is first class 32 coupe. Visit volocars.com. Plenty of ways on there to contact our salesman. I just gave you my honest impression of the car. If you have specific concerns, feel free to talk to them. They're more than happy to help you. They will also help make it easy to get financing, shipping, and all the paperwork handled. That's what they do. So visit volocars.com. Subscribe to our YouTube channel. If you click on the bell icon, you'll be the first to see the next video that's posted. Thanks for watching.